Hey Upper Cervical family, it's Dr. Tedder again, sitting uh, in my truck waiting to pick my kids up from school. Wanted to send you a video about uh, a patient interaction today that I thought that would be interesting to share with uh, you guys today because it's a topic that we get brought up a lot. Um, I had a new patient say to me, you know, I've, Dr. Tedder, I've been here um, three visits in the office and um, all you do is you scan my neck and check my legs and then adjust my neck. Um, but you're not adjusting the rest of my back and uh, And I said uh, To the patient I said wow, you know, thank you for bringing it up. I need to apologize um, That I did not explain to you Clearly what what the objective is he says well I hurt right here in my mid back And if you could just pop that and my response to him was is that you know, I could certainly pop that thing I could certainly make it feel better but if we do that, what it does, is it creates an abnormal feedback loop to the brain. And what in essence happens is it creates um, laxity or looseness in the joint and the ligament in that mid back or low back. And then what ends up happening is, is your body uh, in essence becomes addicted now to the pot. You're creating a dependency on a crack of the spine because we create an abnormal feedback loop. What it does, it also creates damage. It creates a lot of damage in there. So um, you got to understand that whatever's happening down below in the spine is a direct result from where the head neck meet. So if the head is out of alignment and it's stuck in that position, your spine and your neck and your mid back and your low back are absolutely going to twist and turn and rotate to get that head level. And what that's going to do is it's like taking a knotted rope at the very top and that same rope has a knot at the bottom and we're twisting it in opposite directions and it's creating a torque in that rope all the way up and down. Well, the twisting of the rope and the tension of that rope is not the problem. It's the knots at the top and bottom are going the opposite directions. So the purpose of upper cervical corrective care is that we've got to retrain the brain. We've got to retrain the ligaments. We've got to retrain the posture. We've got to retrain the, the nerve mapping down in the body. And we've got to correct and reverse all the bad programming that your brain has been doing due to a, a shift in the atlas at the very top part of the neck. So remember, the scans we do are letting us know whether we're in alignment or out of alignment. They're letting us know if our nerve system is clearing out and getting better. We're monitoring your legs, we're monitoring the back, we're monitoring the hips, making sure that your body responds. But you gotta understand, healing, well Rome wasn't built in a day, your body didn't break down in a day, and it's certainly not gonna rebuild in a day. So understand that the purpose of the upper cervical doctor, the, the purpose of us, our doctors here in the office, is to rebuild, reprogram the spine back to its normal shape so that over time your body can do with what it's got and heal. So if that helps, I hope it does. Um, it certainly did help the patient when I explained it to him today and uh, he was super excited and uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm out.